I'm in far north Queensland amongst the gorgeous sugarcane fields and after learning how this is harvested, I've decided to do a delicious dish using the sugarcane. Now you can see at this stage it's got all its skin but inside is the sweet sugarcane heart. Now this is fantastic to just crunch on just for a little bit of sweetness. It's also great to use as skewers and that's exactly how I'm going to be using it for this recipe. This is a very traditional Thai recipe and I remember eating this on the streets of Thailand. Very classic street food. So to get them to this stage all you need to do is just peel or cut off the woody outside and then cut them into sticks just like this. It really reminds me of bamboo. In fact it's related to the bamboo family. Now I'm going to cut them in half to form some skewers and then just tidy them up so they're nice and even. Now, if you can't get fresh sugar cane like this, you can go to an Asian grocer and you can get them in cans. Now, I have even amounts of pork mince, which is a little bit fatty. It's going to keep these really moist. And also some prawn. Now, the prawn is going to give it some sweetness. It's also going to help bind it. So into a bowl. And then I'm going to add some fish sauce for some saltiness. Some sugar, just caster sugar. We'll sprinkle that in there. And some sesame oil. A few drops of sesame oil. And I love the addition of lemongrass. It's going to give it a lovely balmy flavor. I'll take off a woody layer and then just with a micro plane, just a fine grate into the bowl with the pork and prawn. So we've got little shavings in that mixture. Now for some acidity, some lime. Good squeeze of lime in there. And to get extra juice out, we'll just get a spoon and just squeeze that all over there. And now for some extra binding agents, a little bit of corn flour and half an egg white. So we'll just measure that out. I always like to keep a little bit left over and I'll see the consistency after I mix it. The last few ingredients, a little bit of chili that I'll finely chop. Just run your knife through it a few times and then in it goes along with some coriander. Now I'm using the leaves, the root, and also the stalk because there's so much flavor in the stalk and the root. So a nice big handful. And now this is the fun part. We're gonna mix it with our hands. So all of those flavors mingle. And in order to get this really sticky so it sticks onto our sugar cane, we wanna form a ball and then slap it against the bowl. Now do this for about a minute or so and you'll see the consistency. Once it starts to become really, really sticky and hold its shape, then it's ready to form onto our skewers. Now you can see how it's formed into a nice mixture and it's holding its shape so it's ready to go. And this is a little tip that I've learned. Just get a little bit of grapeseed oil, peanut oil or vegetable oil into your hands and this will ensure that we can form a nice kebab out of this mixture. It doesn't stick to your hands. All right, we'll get these lovely little sugarcane sticks and grab a small amount, about a golf ball size amount. And then we just stick it onto the skewer, squishing it together and then form that straight over. And that is the perfect pork, prawn and sugarcane skewer. Now I'm gonna make a few more of these and then pop them on a really hot barbecue so they're golden on the outside. They're gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. These skewers are almost ready. You can see how nicely they've stuck to that sugar cane. And now for a little sauce to go with it, I can't help myself. I love to serve this with a gnoc mam, which is a combination of fish sauce and some chili. Also a little bit of water. And to balance out the saltiness, a little hint of sugar, just some caster sugar. And we need some acidity, so some fresh lime. One juicy lime will squeeze all of that delightful juice out. And the second one. And then this is not traditional in a gnoc mum, but I love the addition of some fresh ginger. And here up in North Queensland, the ginger is just at its best. I'm not even going to peel it because it's so young. So a small amount of that into the sauce. And I'll add a hint of lemongrass to this, just to echo the flavor of the lemongrass in the skewers. And then a really good mix. We'll just have a quick taste. Mm. Oh, that is just spot on. Now to serve this, I love 
using some lettuce cups and then we'll take them straight off the barbecue when they're piping hot. This one looks fantastic. We'll pop him in there to his little nest and then two per person. Just pop that on top. And then I love to add a generous amount of the sauce straight over the skewers. And for a last garnish, a hint of coriander over the top. Well, look where I am. I'm in the fields of the sugar cane. It's got so many different purposes, not just for our cup of tea and coffee in the morning. It's fantastic used as skewers too.